See it played, main battle area, actions. So it's a uh, turn to um, the round one. Um, step B is indirect fire. This smoke came off because it, it was there for four complete consecutive rounds. I advanced one uh, round on the ticker for this uh, smoke here. Um, the U.S. side wants to drop some artillery on the vehicles up here on this small rise. Um, my question is, can the tank platoon there see them given primarily this small urban area here? Okay, obviously the, the SA 9s the SA-9 section on the rise is at one elevation above ground level. The M1 is at ground level. Um, I'm still not sure. So the text is, Blocking terrain consists of wooded and urban squares and any elevation between the the units that is higher than the elevation level of the two units. And I wonder, does that mean higher than both units? Or does that mean higher than, wait, higher than the elevation level of the two units? Right, that sounds like both, right? Um. I don't know if this is blocking or not. I mean, there's no elevation per se between the two. Um, I don't remember the rules talking about the elevation of urban areas. Okay, maybe it's all a moot point because I just strang, strang, I just strung my LOS wire, and uh, actually, the line of sight clear easily clears these actual building uh, graphics here. And the rules say clearly, to be blocked, line of sight must pass through the graphic symbol representing the blocking terrain, not just the square containing the terrain. Um, so that, I guess, means that they are easily observing past the buildings, and then they are observing up the slight rise to the SA-9s there. Okay, I guess it's good line of sight. So the U.S. is going to drop some artillery on those SA-9s there. Um, and the, uh, okay. Okay, I think this resulted in one uh, vehicle kill, but, uh, go through it real quick. So I look at the U.S. indirect fire table, which again is, they printed this one fairly small. Um, but let's go through the, the general modifiers. Plus 35 if unobserved. It's not unobserved, because we have an observer. Um, that's the tank platoon there. It's not final protective fires. It's not observed by headquarters with fist. It's not time on target. Tar it's not a TRP. It's not shift from a TRP, and it's not pre-plotted. I just went with generic 155mm HE, and the SA-9s are, they're not a T-80, they're not a BMP, so they're, and they're not dismounted infantry, so not, they are an other vehicle. So this is the range right here. Now we go to the general modifiers. Uh, they're not in wooded terrain. The SA-9s are in clear terrain. Um, not urban and not rubbled urban. They're not in a strong point, they're not entrenched, they're not in hasty position, but they are in defilade. That's defilade right there. They are in defilade, so plus 10. HQ losses um, don't apply. Oh. Hmm. We'll have to come back to that another time. Not moving and not nighttime. Um, 
Uh, okay. Um, so they rolled a 34. So the, the, the ones, yeah, the ones die is not an eight or nine. So there's no suppression. So it's 34 plus 10 for the defilate is 44. So then we look on the range here and 44 is, is in the 23 to 66 range. We read across kills one. So this is a two vehicle section. There, so the second vehicle is killed. We're left with just one, and that should be our um, indirect fire mission for the U.S. in the uh, Soviet movement uh, step. The remaining SA-9 vehicle continues to work on his hasty position, hasty defensive position. Um, and here to show this, um, dismounted infantry that dismounted last round is, uh, infantry always move one square and they move every other round. So the dismounted infantry was here with the BMPs. They moved up the wooded hill one area like that. And they are unobserved. And because this is round one, which is odd, uh, they are marked with an odd, an odd marker. This is to indicate that uh, they will be eligible to move again the next odd round. So I put the odd marker on there like that. That means the next round is two, which is even, which means that this marker will not come off at the start of the... Um, uh, movement and fire uh, round, wait, um, simultaneous fire and movement round, but the round after that, round number three, being odd, this will come off at the very start of the round during step A. So all the rest of the platoons, including the self-propelled artillery, um, got in defilade, they did not move, they got in defilade, and they all started working on hasty defensive positions. The idea here is that the, on the one hand, I'm gonna have the Soviets push their dismounted infantry forward first and see what they can achieve. And then, um, although I'm not entirely convinced uh, that's such a good approach, but I'm gonna try it. So while that's happening and the vehicles are um, holding back, um, I'm going to try to uh, maintain as much survivability as possible, given that now the U.S. could be uh, dropping indirect artillery continuously while uh, the Soviets wait to develop this situation. <laughs> 